What's up everybody, Craig here, and uh, so I got done installing this RX 480. Uh, I got it working, everything was working correctly. Um, it was pretty cool. Uh, it was a good experience, it kicked my ass all day yesterday. Uh, but uh, as you can see, my 980 Ti is back in my system, uh, and for a couple reasons. So I kind of went into this where if everything worked correctly, I was going to get two uh, RX 480s and then running them in crossfire which may be not supported by Mac yet um, but I would uh, run them in crossfire on Windows and two RX 480s is just as good as a 1080 at about $150 less so I was kind of going into it with that but that didn't end up happening um, because you have to mess with your BIOS and get your BIOS to boot integrated graphics and I know that sounds weird but when you boot up it'll end up using the card but because the RX 480s and the new MacBook Pros and stuff like that it's written in the code so you have to tell your BIOS to boot integrated graphics but then when you boot Mac it'll fire this thing up the problem is every time I want to boot up Windows and play a game I'd have to go back into the BIOS change the settings and then put it onto PCI slot 1 or whatever my graphics card is plugged into I didn't want to do that I just wanted to keep it simple so this one's going to my brother and uh, he can have fun with it. But uh, anyway, just uh, follow along, and uh, if you want to get your RX 480 working, you can, and it will work, and you'll have full hardware acceleration, and you'll be able to render videos a little quicker in Final Cut. So um, that's all I got, and uh, we'll get into this video. And remember, uh, Final Cut only lets AMD cards have hardware acceleration, not NVIDIA. So when I render a video in Final Cut using an NVIDIA card. It just uses my CPU, doesn't use my GPU. Something to keep in mind. Uh, okay, so as you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti in my system currently. Um, I have a video uh, clips all put together. Uh, it was with my previous video, the Hackintosh bugs. Uh, it's in Final Cut. I'm going to render it while I have my NVIDIA card in there, and then I'm going to render it when I have my AMD card in there. Basically, I'm going to show you the difference between the two, which if an NVIDIA card is in there, uh, nothing's going to happen. There's no hardware acceleration. NVIDIA uses CUDA technology. So with the NVIDIA card in there, it's going to use 100% my Intel i7 6700K CPU, and that's how it's going to render the video. Uh, if I have my AMD card in there, which I haven't used an AMD in Hackintosh before, so I'm going to see, but theoretically what should happen is because AMD uses OpenCL technology, it's going to ha go ahead and have hardware acceleration, which means it'll use my GPU to render that video. So uh, stand by. I'm going to talk about a couple things before I get into all that, and, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and test the two. Okay, now it's time to start talking about the bullshit that Apple pulls. So basically, um, Apple lets you buy products. Okay, now it's time to start talking about the bullshit that Apple pulls. So basically, um, Apple lets you buy products with AMD cards in it, and then they have products with NVIDIA cards in it. But remember what I said, there is no hardware acceleration in Final Cut with NVIDIA. So... Um, if you wanted an AMD card, so if, if I'm buying an iMac, right, it you can get it with uh, Intel CPU in it along with an NVIDIA graphics card in it, right? So I have a CPU and a GPU inside my iMac. I'm going to want to, especially with how much Apple charges you, I'm going to want to use that freaking thing to its fullest potential. But no, you have Apple who gives you a video card in there and then all you can do is use it for displaying a nice pretty 5k resolution which congratulations that's great i'm sure it'll look pretty and then whatever small small amount of big name titles apple has or steam has for mac support with games so you spent all that money on an imac just to have a pretty display it's it's really uh it boggles my mind how apple does this crap sometimes but uh uh you know, it's one thing that makes me mad. I'm always going back to Windows because if I want to play any major title game, uh, I got to go to Windows because Apple just refuses to tackle the fact that, hey, people like to play games. And people like me don't want to go out and buy a PS4, an Xbox, and have all these different boxes sitting under my TV. I want to have one system and then I can play games, I can watch movies, I can uh, do productivity, and so forth. But if you look what I have here on the screen, I got on the left, I got your MacBook Pro. Now, this is the 
cheapest MacBook Pro you can get with an AMD card in it. So uh, you can't if you have the 13 inch, you cannot get the AMD card in it. So this is the 15 inch, and this is the cheapest version you can get. So 23, $2,400, uh, and this is just the AMD Radeon Pro 450 with two gigabytes of memory. That is not a strong video card, but that is the cheapest one you can get uh, in here. Uh, and it's $2,400. So if you wanted to render a video in Final Cut and take, uh, you know, the have hardware acceleration, you're not going to be able to uh, unless you get uh, this card. And now you're able to, and it's really not that strong anyway, and you're spending $2,400 on it. Do you know what kind of computer I could build for $2,400? Again, ridiculous. So coming over this way, you get the Mac Pro, and this is the cheapest version of the Mac Pro, which keep in mind... This is a 2013 computer, so it's it's getting kind of out of date. You know, computer uh, technology is, is always changing and stuff like that. So um, it runs uh, AMD Fire Pro uh, D3 uh, 300 GPUs. So this is the cheapest version of the Mac Pro you can get with the AMD cards in it. So uh, if you look, that's $3,000. Do you know what computer I can build for $3,000? And this is the point I'm getting with Apple is getting so stingy with their practices and uh, price gouging that no wonder why people are building Hackintoshes. You guys are getting ridiculous. You're soldering processors. You're soldering RAM inside MacBooks. So uh, say you get a MacBook Air or something when they were out before, and uh, and this is some pretty shitty shit they were pulling. You get a MacBook Air. You don't know what you're doing. You go to the store. Okay, four gigabytes of RAM. Okay, the, the store salesman sells you on it. You buy it. You don't realize that four gigabytes of RAM is kind of going out of style quick, and you're going to need at least eight gigabytes or higher with, uh, you know, programs and, and operating systems that are coming down the pipe. So then you notice your MacBook Air starts to act slow, and then it comes evident that you probably need more RAM for what you're doing. Okay, that's cool, right? Just upgrade RAM. So let me just go ahead and buy a couple sticks and pop it in. No, uh, Apple decided to uh, solder the RAM and easily upgradable part to the logic board of their MacBook Pro retinas and above. So back in the day when they used to have the disk drives in the MacBook Pros, you were able to upgrade uh, parts like that. Not the processor, but uh, you can upgrade your hard drive, you can upgrade your RAM. Now, uh, you do not have that uh, ability. The only thing you can upgrade inside one of these new MacBook Pros or MacBook Airs, which they've killed off recently, uh, is your uh, flash memory, which if you go on OWC, it's freaking expensive as it is. So you might as well just buy it through Apple or buy it through them. It's just as expensive. So it pisses me off when they do all these practices and then you want to get a little more out of your computer and they price gouge the shit out of you. So um, just, you know, practices that Apple is doing with not supporting major title games, price gouging, uh, you know, soldering things to logic boards that don't need to be soldered. You know, I really wish people would just wake up and, you know, don't support Apple. Apple is, has gotten out of control, and uh, I don't support them anymore. I bought my wife a MacBook Air, and that's about it. Okay, so now it's coming time to render the video. So this is the same video. It's going to be the same video for this. Uh, and right now I have the GTX 980 Ti in my system. And then it'll be the same exact video, same settings for when I have the AMD RX 480 inside my system. Um, so for now, I have the stopwatch. I got Mr. Stopwatch down here ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, click this to render. I'm going to render it to a master file default. I'm going to my settings. And it already has it ready to go, H.264. That's what I want. And I'm going to render it. So I'm going to hit Next. And then I'm going to save it to my movies. And then now it's starting to render. Okay, now I'm going to hit start.
okay, we're sitting at 100% right now. So that means it took this movie that is 12 minutes and 41 seconds long. Uh, it's 1080p, 30 frames a second. And it is using H.264 encoding or codecs. And so basically it took 11 minutes and 28 seconds to process, to render. And again, that's using my Intel CPU because NVIDIA does not have uh, hardware acceleration. So 11 minutes, uh, we'll take that and then we'll go ahead and try the AMD card and see if we get a little faster. All right, now it's time for the uh, final piece to the puzzle here. So um, we got the RX 480 in here. Let me, uh, let me show you about it here. All right, so as we can see, we got the RX 480 installed. Um, I got full acceleration, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Um, now, where are we at here? Um, this is the same video uh, that I rendered. Uh, it's um, 12 minutes and there we go. Here we go. 12 minutes and 41 seconds long. Same video I did, but I did it with my 980 Ti. But remember, since it was a 980 Ti, there was no hardware acceleration because Final Cut Pro only uses OpenCL and... Uh, NVIDIA uses CUDA so um, now that we have an AMD card in there we're using OpenCL so we should see some faster render times when I render this so let's see what we get here Okay, so with the AMD card in my system, it finished rendering the 12-minute uh, video in a 12-minute, 41-second video in roughly 9 minutes and 18 seconds. I kind of hit the button a little late, but um, so we'll call it like 9, 10 or something. I don't know. Um, but still, it's a full 2 minutes before the 980 Ti or, like I said, my uh, CPU doing the work. Um, now I thought I was, I was expecting a lot faster. I was expecting a lot better, but you know, hardware acceleration also means like scrubbing in and out of movies when you're messing with special effects, you're supposed to, um, I, I guess you get better effects kind of thing. You know, um, it, what I mean is, uh, uh, smoother, you know, transitions between frames and stuff like that. Um, but here's the render test and, uh, the AMD card beat it by a full two minutes. So cool good uh, you know bigger movies obviously will have a, a bigger impact um, but uh, was just uh, putting this out there for y'all to see um, so down bottom we got the uh, AMD card the RX 480 uh, rendered a 12 minute 41 second movie in 9 minutes and 18 seconds up top was my 980 Ti when it was in it but it's really my Intel uh, 6700 K doing the legwork on this render so that was 11 minutes and 28 seconds those are the results uh so if you like this video let me know what you think uh let me know in the the comments uh what you think uh, like subscribe comment and uh thanks for watching